Greetings and welcome to episode one of my art vlog. My name is Troy Thomas and I am an artist. I work a lot with uh, geometric abstraction. I've been doing that for quite a while. Uh, recently I've been getting into more of neo-minimalist artworks. Uh, I like to use acrylic paints or gel pens. Uh, you'll see those in future episodes. Uh, now, however, this was not what I intended for my, for my first episode. Uh, I'm trying to get this done real quick, so that's why it's a little shaky because I'm using handheld uh, tripod right here. Um, now, the reason I'm trying to do this quick is because I have some artwork laid out in the yard here, and people live been wanting to come by and grab it. So I figured let's make this video real quick before this artwork is gone. First, let me tell you why I have artwork laid out uh, to be trashed. Uh, the reason is because a few days ago, my house got flooded. Hurricane, or it wasn't a hurricane when it hit, it was trop Tropical Storm Etta. Yeah, it was uh, late at night, all of a sudden, flood water just kept getting deeper and deeper and eventually it made it into my house and we had a couple of inches of water all throughout the house. Uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to get all of my artwork up off the floor so some of it has to be trashed. It doesn't look bad like you'll see here in a second. Um, you know it, the, the artwork still looks good but you know the frames were just soaked in water and plus this water is nasty. It's sewage. Um, it just it stinks. So in good conscience, I couldn't ever sell this artwork later on. So I'm trashing it. I did take some pictures, and some of them I might just recreate later on. Hopefully, because a couple of them I really, really liked. All right, so, yep, let me uh, flip the camera, and we'll go take a look at some of this artwork before people take off with it. All right, let's start with these, because... Uh, Somebody were, was looking at these, uh, actually I was out and uh, when I came home somebody was standing by the road looking at these and she said she would come by and pick these up here in a little bit. So these first couple here are just, uh, I forgot what size they were, I don't know, 24 by 30 or something like that. Um, they're just the, the thin canvases. Uh, I was just experimenting with those really, it's acrylic paint and acrylic marker. Uh, so. Uh, I thought they were kind of neat, but I never did anything else other than these two in this style. And then behind those, that's just an abstract that I did many years ago. I don't know if uh, I have a date on there or not. Let's take a look. Yep. Cyclone Zulu, I did that in 2013. And then uh, this one I just did earlier this year. Uh, it's acrylic paint with uh, modeling paste. It's 24 inches by 36 inches. And let me get closer so you can see all the texture. So, I like doing a lot of stuff with texture. There's, let me get back a little bit farther so you can see the whole thing there. Just an abstract piece. Uh, I did that many years ago too. Uh, that might have been same around 2013. Uh, um, oh, I did not date that one. I don't think. Nope. I never dated that one. All right. And then uh, there's another. Uh, this is more of a neo minimalist piece that I did earlier this year. I think it was earlier this year. Maybe it was last year. Um, anyways, that's something else with. It. A lot of texture on it but yeah I was uh, out getting some lunch and getting some cleaning supplies so I can clean up my place and I pull up and somebody was looking through these paintings so I end up talking to her a little bit and telling her about my artwork and she really liked it and I told her go ahead and take it I mean I was gonna trash them anyway I just warned her that they were soaking in the water. So, all right, let's uh, go look at some other pieces. All right, here are the other pieces I have laid out by the road for the trash. Um, I laid them all out here so uh, I wouldn't have to walk right up to it and pull them apart while I was still holding the camera. 
But uh, let's take a look at this this piece first. Um, got a lot of shadow from the tree. So uh, this I did back in 2009. It's acrylic paint with glass beads, and then uh, it's actually poured paint. So that was pouring uh, before pouring was cool. So let's get a little closer look. And you can see the glass beads in the painting also. I had fun creating this painting, but uh, I enjoyed it when it was first done, but then afterward I just, I don't know, I haven't really been all that crazy about it. So it's just been sitting and hanging on my own wall instead of trying to sell it. Here's a similar piece to the other one that was against the tree. Uh, this one's just blue and white instead of green and white, but it's the texture painting that I did uh, earlier this year. These two pieces here, a little bit more of the, the neo-minimalist stuff that I was doing. Um, you see like just the front of the canvas is just black and white and it's textured. And then the sides, oh, my shadow, uh, the sides of the canvas I painted red. So it, it really is three color, but if you look at it straight on, you only see two colors. I used a modeling paste to get all this texture. All those are on canvas. This piece here is on wood panel. I really, really like this one. I was really upset that this got damaged. And I was, those two I was really upset got damaged too. Um, so th these three, but especially this one, cause this took a lot of time and I mean, it's, man, it's solid. Look at that texture on there. It's minimalist to create, but I really liked just the three colors, white, red, and black there. But they're going bye-bye. All because they were underwater in flood water. Now, somebody said they might be coming back for these. Um, she gave me an idea, so if she doesn't come back for them, maybe I'll uh, take her idea. Uh, she's saying you can cut the canvas and you, know, you can put on a new stretcher board. So, so I might... Uh, might end up doing that if she doesn't. Alright, so this portfolio here, I've had this for a long time. I think I got this back in the 90s, or early 90s, maybe even late 80s. Um, I know I took it to uh, Art Institute of Pittsburgh with me, which was in 1991. Don't remember how long I had it before that, but uh, yeah, these are all uh, like oversized papers that I had artwork on. Um, I have no idea, don't remember what was inside, but let's uh, peel it back and have a look. Uh -huh. ah, there's an MC Escher print that I had. Let's peel this back. Man, MC Escher, one of my favorite artists. I don't know if there's anything behind it. Uh, there's something else behind it, but I'm not sure what that was. All right, let's see what this is. Oh man, this is a drawing that I did when I was in Iraq. Uh oh, yeah. So did that in uh, 2005. I forgot what, uh, what medium I used there. If it was a uh, pastel or I don't know if that was colored pencil maybe. I don't remember what, but yeah. I was in Baghdad when I did this piece. Ah, man, what a shame. I think this is an old piece, yeah. I think I did this in high school. Ooh, there's little something. Oh, there's a, got a date on there. 
1991, so yeah, that was my senior year of high school. Did that with a white charcoal on black paper. Don't know what the size is. Looks like 18 by 24, maybe. Let's see if I have anything else that there's uh, just an abstract never did anything with. <laughs> That's something I did in high school. I was just playing around. Uh, just stuff that, oh man. Oh, <laughs> let's see if we can find me in my high school uh, photo, if I can get to it. <laughs> oh yeah. There is my high school class right there. Class of 1991. You see, we didn't have a very big school. And it'd be kind of hard to find me. All you can see is my head sticking out. I'm way in the back, actually. Right there. See where the shadow of the uh, microphone is? That's me, as an 18 year old. Now well, that, that photo is destroyed. Let's see what else I have in here for art. And nothing. You know, some like, minimalist stuff I did before I knew what minimalism, minimalism was. I did that back in high school. That was spray paint. Well, I think it was uh, and melted crayon. That's where the splatter came from. And I think these are just blank sheets of paper that I never got to work with yet. And some abstracts I never really did anything with. Oh, it's oh, getting way destroyed. Uh, that piece was fun to make, but yeah, it's, it's tearing all apart. And the mock poster I did for a broadcasting school. Uh, that's way destroyed. Oh, it's taped up. I wonder what I had inside there. You know, I'm not even going to look. See if I can find any other uh, artwork. Uh, oh, hey. <laughs> ah, these are cool. I forgot all about these. That was a uh, charcoal on paper. I don't know if I saw oh, it's ripping. I just did that in uh there's the date. 2018. Yep, charcoal on paper. That was fun to make. That's all washed out. I think that's it for art. Yep marbling stuff that I did way back uh, I think that was high school or maybe right after high school anyways yeah that's destroyed what do you think of my skull <laughs> yeah I'm trashing that too that was underwater probably wouldn't be bad but you know I'm trying to become more of a minimal minimalist for my lifestyle so I'm just gonna get rid of it So that about does it for my first vlog. Really not what I want to do for my first vlog. Uh, I've been like trying to think of uh, a script and plan out what I wanted to do for my first vlog. I was going to do an introduction and I was writing out a bunch of stuff that I was uh, trying, to, trying to prepare for it for the first vlog. And then this happened. So, so let's hurry up, get this out. And then, uh, so maybe my next vlog, I'll go into a more detailed uh, 
description of my artwork and how I created or um, we'll see I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do in the second vlog yet but it'll be some kind of an introduction so thanks for watching I hope uh, uh, I don't know the, how much there was to enjoy this uh, it wasn't really enjoyable for me but hey you know I'm kind of gonna have to just start over somewhat uh, so you'll get to see that process in uh, future vlogs uh, you know, I really don't even know how to end this now how to transition into what I want to say here at the end so let's see nope I couldn't think of a transition so uh, let's just get into what I want to say here at the end uh, which is actually kind of strange I have other video series on this channel and I have a couple other channels also and in all those videos I always ask people to uh, hit that thumbs up like the video uh, it's kind of strange to ask for it this time because you know I'm asking you to like stuff that I have to get rid of artwork that's being destroyed but however I still want you to hit that thumbs up button and the reason being is because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and it'll help my videos get seen by more people so the more thumbs up I get the more YouTube will say hey people want to see this video and they'll show it to more people otherwise it's going to be pushed way down at the bottom underneath a bunch of other videos so please hit that thumbs up button for me even though you may not like what happened here still hit that thumbs up button it, I would like that actually uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel uh, I'm going to try to put out a lot more vlogs I don't know what kind of consistency I'm going to do with the vlogs yet I would like to shoot for once per week uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to stick to that and actually I don't even know when I'm going to get around to the second episode yet because I have a lot of cleanup to do with the house here uh, I haven't even been able to create any artwork since this happened it's just it's been a crazy couple of days last couple of days it's uh, I hope none of you have to go through what I'm going through here uh, even though we only had a couple inches of water in the house it still did a lot of damage so I could only imagine what some of these people that have five eight feet of water in their homes I mean pretty much their whole entire house and possessions are gone at least I had a lot of stuff I could save but there's a lot of stuff getting destroyed also but yeah subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell that way you can be notified whenever I put new material out and uh, come back and watch some more of my vlogs and check out some of the other uh, uh, what are they channel not channels uh, just video series check out some of the other video series I have within this channel and uh, yeah like those ones I really want you to like those ones also until next time I hope you have some great and artful days